With the grant you received for bioengineering cornea, what is the impact on people moving forward? How is it going to affect ophthalmology? Okay, so uh, I am the project lead of a consortium called Bienco, which involves uh, academics and surgeons uh, from around Australia, uh, from Sydney University where I am professor, but also from other institutions in Melbourne, uh, in New South Wales, Wollongong University and in Queensland, Queensland University of Technology. And we were lucky enough to receive a very large grant from the Australian Government, which we're very grateful for. And our purpose is to develop therapies that will treat corneal blindness. The cornea is the clear window at the front of the eye, where a lot of laser surgery is done, where corneal transplants are done and other surgical procedures. And when there's a problem with the cornea, it is associated with quite significant blindness, especially in developing countries. And there's just not enough corneal transplants to go around to correct these problems. And so our goal is to be able to make one of these corneas or windows in the laboratory. And we are bioengineering it with various cells and, and other, other substances. If we're successful, then we'll be able to treat corneal blindness and therefore have a significant impact, not just on patients in Australia who are waiting for a transplant, but for people in Southeast Asia and in developing worlds who really have no other option at the moment uh, to regain their sight. The Future Vision Foundation has also funded some of your research, although on a much smaller scale. Can you tell us a bit about the foundation and the project they funded? Yeah, look, I think the Future Vision Foundation was a really important initiative um, by Vision Eye Institute and uh, especially some of the people that have been involved in research here uh, for many years, such as uh, Dr. Chris Hodge. And I think that what it has tried to do is to help with some of the initial uh, funding into research projects which can be really difficult to get and so one of my team members was lucky enough to get one of those grants and that's been important as have a number of other small grants and funding that we've received in terms of getting a few runs on the board and therefore making us um, capable of applying for the larger grants like the MRFF grant that we got for Bianco. So all of these grants are really critical. Um, they're always valuable and, and very much appreciated. And I think that the Future Vision Foundation uh, has a future uh, in helping stimulate these areas of research that can have a significant impact on preventing blindness and treating blindness over a long period of time.